Today we're going to be doing a DIY tractor three-point pipe layer. Welcome to Australian Paddock. Okay, g'day everybody. Welcome to another edition of Australian Paddock. Now today I've got the tractor behind me and we're going to be trying to lay pipe but using a DIY pipe layer. I've got my ripper but it doesn't have the capacity to have a, a pipe layer bolted to it like some of the smaller single tines do. So I'll show you what we're trying to achieve and we've never done this before but if it works I hope that it can help somebody out there to potentially lay pipe themselves. So let's get stuck into it and we'll see how we go. So here's our trusty Mahindra 3650 PST and on the back we have a heavy duty ripper with a single tine bolted to it. You can have up to two tines for this 50 horsepower tractor but this one here can rip down to a depth of about 600 millimeters. Now I've already ripped the path for our pipe which is coming from our windmill and I've joined the pipe in here now what we've done is we've taken this is this is inch and a quarter pipe down here or 32 millimeter and this is two inch pipe that I've, I've wired to the back of the ripper and to the back of the frame work assembly here and the idea is that when I drop this down hopefully it will lay the pipe into the pre-ripped line. We're doing about 60 meters of it, so I don't really want to dig it by hand. Now, there's a few things I'm going to watch out for. One is kinking of the, of the pipe, but um, at this point, it's a bit of a suck it and see exercise. So let's give it a go and we'll see what happens. So here's the first problem. I lowered the ripper down into the channel here and it immediately kinked the pipe. So I've cut this to give us some higher flex and we'll basically try it again and see what happens. I've just hopped off the tractor for a sec to show you what we've been doing. So we ripped about 15 metres and it seems to have gone in absolutely perfectly into the pre-rip. This soil, like if you can call it soil, is like concrete. A bit of rain recently has softened it up. Let's look at the actual unit here. We're still going in. The depth of this hasn't changed. This is all still solid and there's no issues with any of the wire I put on down here either. Now obviously you can't see the pipe, which is the point. And really it's coming in quite nicely. It's just being looped in. So I'd say it's a very successful I'm exercise. Really hard. You're pushing hard? I'm, push all the hard. I'm pushing it down. Um, but not that, hard. not that hard. Yeah, so this is a pretty good exercise. So we'll continue. So we're going up the hill here. And when we get to the end, I'll have to join it as well. So here's the end of our rip line. Successfully buried it all the way back down. I'm going to run over the trench now with the tractor to just to recompress it. Cut the pipe off here. The water's going to flow from the windmill down our dry creek bed and back down into the dam. And again, here's our contraption on the back. How did it stand up to it? pretty good. Here's the flare we put in to stop the kinking, but you know, none of the wire's broken, hasn't moved an inch. I think it's reasonably successful. I did notice a couple of spots where it went, the pipe went a little bit shallow, but nothing too serious. I think that was more because of subsurface rocks lifting the ripper. There you go. Hope you enjoyed that little video. I'm sure there'll be some comments about this one. If you like my channel, please subscribe, please like the video, and I'll see you again next time. See ya.